Welcome to another episode of Be Muse. In a previous episode, we were looking at what a museum does and why. And when you're in the museum community, we call this impact because it's more than just the number of people that come through our doors. In fact, as we found out then, that's a very small part of what a museum actually does. We have so many other folks who come to visit us and we actually go out and see other people quite often. So today, we're going to take a quick look at some of the programming that we do at the museum and what impact this has for the Brothel Museum. Every year at the museum, we deliver over 250 public programs. Some of these are on site, some of them are off, and they include things like school groups. We have more than 12 different school programs available. We have a special homeschool program. We also have our popular Brockville's Criminal Past walking tour as well. There are workshops for adults and children. We have adult learning opportunities like our popular lecture series. Hospital and nursing home visits is one of the big things that we do, as well as youth groups, overnight camps for guides and scouts and speakers for service clubs, and there's so much more. There's always something going on at the museum, as well as some of the things the museum is doing off-site. These programs not only bring people to us, they get a chance to find out about Brockville's history, but when we look at impact, we look at what kind of things they remember, whether they come back, if they become repeat program users, and if we see them again. Measuring impact isn't just about people coming to programs, returning to programs, or visiting us here at the museum. It's also the chance to form new partnerships. Ones like making BMUSE episodes with Hometown TV 12. But one of the longest partnerships that we've had going on with the museum through our programming is with the Rotary Club of Brockville as well as the hospital here in town. It's called Artifact Therapy and it's actually in its 31st year here in Brockville. This is a unique partnership between the hospital, a museum and a service club where we bring special programming to the hospital every single week. What started out as a one-on-one -on -one conversation with those who had Alzheimer's has expanded to include all of the people who are at the hospital over at Garden Street site. They get a chance to get out of their rooms, hear some stories about our local past, share some stories, and for those who do have dementia, perhaps bring out some of those latent memories. This is a unique partnership. It's actually quite rare to find anywhere in the province, let alone one that's been lasting so long. Down here in the museum classroom, this is one of the most used parts of our building. We have groups that rent it for all sorts of different events. We also have groups that come here on a regular basis doing crafts, and even basket makers use this every single month. So there's always something going on, not just the school groups that you think of right off the top, you know, the ones who are here to make ice cream using our wonderful ice cream balls, but there are so many other people who are coming here for programming at the museum, and the museum goes off-site as well. The reason for this is because we want to have a connection with our community and for our community to have a connection with our history and hopefully the museum as well. And when we look back on this impact and see how people are using the museum, we do see in a measurable way that there are more and more folks who are coming here to the museum to find out more about our story. If you want to find out more about the story of the Brockville Museum or of what's going on here, visit us at brockvillemuseum.com or follow us on Twitter or Facebook.